scholarships for students that are studying business in college are a boon. These scholarships can drastically reduce the cost of college and they can be pretty easy to find if you know where to look. They also might be a little less competitive because they're pretty specific to what your student is majoring in. So in today's video, I wanna share five scholarships for business majors and then one bonus tip that is probably the most important. Now make sure you hit subscribe because every single week we release a new strategy to help your family work towards a debt-free degree. Hey there, my name is Jocelyn Pearson, founder of The Scholarship System and Debt-Free Degree Lab, where we redefine paying for college to help families build strong financial futures rather than once buried in debt. Now, scholarships are my bread and butter. We've helped families secure well over $10.5 million, and I literally got paid to go to college, actually to business school myself, because of scholarships. So I have seen this a time or two. Now, business school can be very broad. There are so many different subcategories within business school, so many different majors. It could be marketing, communication, operation management. I mean, there's, the list can go on. As a result, this could be a great major for students and it can open up the doors to lots of different jobs and careers in their future. It could even just be teaching them how to start their own business and learn the skills necessary for doing that. No matter what it is, there are scholarships out there. Now, just before I get into this specific list of scholarships I have for you, I do wanna say that we do have a scholarship training, it's totally free, where I show you my way of building a scholarship list by avoiding the common search engines. So you can find that link in the description below or somewhere here on the screen maybe here, <laughs> and you can join the free training so you can learn how to build that scholarship list. Now, before I give you the list of five, how do students apply to these scholarships? The application process can vary. One company to another, one organization to another, it can have completely different requirements and processes. Usually, however, students will need to complete essays, maybe a list of activities, they might need to share a transcript, get a recommendation letter. These are just some of the requirements that scholarships can use. Now we have an entire video all about letters of recommendation, so check that out if that is a requirement that your student comes across. Now before applying, we wanna make sure that your student has everything that's needed and is fully following the instructions. Otherwise, they'll probably just throw out the application. Also, by going through that ahead of time, it can make the process way faster and smoother. Okay, so that said, let's get into the five scholarships that I have found for those of you with students majoring in business. <music> First is Benjamin and Patricia Allen Scholarship Fund. This is actually from Iowa State University and it requires a 3.0 or above. It's for first generation students, which means it's for students whose parents have not graduated from a four year institution in the past. It can be renewed for three additional years also, as long as students meet the criteria. Now it does require students to be full-time as well. Oh, another one, this is a little random, but it is actually Dairy Management Incorporated Scholarship Program. This scholarship committee awards 11 $2,500 scholarships and it's eligible for undergraduate students from sophomore to senior year. So students have to wait until they're at least a sophomore to apply. Now what's unique about this is students have to be in some sort of dairy focused major. However, communication, marketing, these general kind of business degrees can count. Now another one is David and Jeannie Price Scholarship Fund. This is a one-time $3,000 scholarship and it is focused for LSU students. Now this one's also focused on juniors and seniors, which will lead into my final tip that will apply to anyone, no matter which school your student's attending, but you may find that this is common. For the GPA requirement, it's only a 3.5 or higher. Now, forgive me if I butcher this next one, but the name is, I believe, Fukunaga? <laughs> <laughs> Fukunaga Scholarship Foundation Scholarship. This is all for students that are from Hawaii that are pursuing a degree in business. In 2022, they gave out 10 scholarships and they totaled over $20,000 over the four years of their degree. Now the last one is called the Stephen L. Keller Scholarship. And this is specific for students that are in Eastern Kentucky and it is $2,000, but it's for students that are majoring in business related fields. Now I have an entire post with 27 scholarships for business majors. It's a blog post with a bigger list. These are just some that we picked out of it. So I will link to that in the description. But like I mentioned, these were pretty specific, okay? So they may not have pertained to your student, but one of the big suggestions here is, as you can see, there are scholarships for such random things. So have your student get specific into what they want to do with their business degree. Have them think a little bit bigger and more detailed than just, oh, I wanna pursue business. 
what kind of fields, what kind of areas, what kind of career paths, and then search for scholarships for that. Now, the other thing is, like I mentioned, some of these were for sophomores, juniors, seniors in college, which is actually something that I experienced myself at a business school. I had to wait until I was already a freshman in the business school in order to apply for business focused majors. These were not ones that I was just automatically qualified for when I enrolled as a freshman. So have your student go to the advising office of the business school and ask them, do you have any business specific scholarships that you guys give out? The answer will probably be yes. They just didn't do it for the freshmen, the incoming freshmen upon admissions. So comment below, what area is your student focusing in with business? Have they chosen a specific major and focus or are they doing general business? And have they found scholarships for that area? We would love to know more in the comments below. All right, so that's it. So as you see, there's lots of opportunities out there. So if your student's majoring in business, then this is just the tip of the iceberg. Again, make sure you check out that free training so you can see how how I do my searching so that you can find your own list, but also make sure you check out that list that we shared in the description. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe because we release a new strategy for paying for college every single week that goes even beyond scholarships. Okay, I'll see you soon.